Hi guys, today we're going to do some ornaments. I got four for y'all. I'm sorry about my voice, but when it's this time of year, it's, it's always like this. So I got this mitten a couple years ago on clearance. I think I paid like 50 cents or 25 cents. I can't remember. The fluff was 10 cents. I like to wait till after, you know, a couple weeks after the holidays or maybe even three. And that's when you, you really get the best deals. So I'm just stuffing my mitten to, you know, make it thick and fluffy. And then we're just going to glow, uh, glow, Lord must glue the top shut. <clears throat> Excuse me. I appreciate y'all being patient with me while I took a few days to just relax and, you know, it was really nice and I needed it. So thank you guys for being patient. So this is easy, super easy, just gluing it shut. And you can, if you have these or you can even make them, you can decorate them however you wish. And this is a pick that I got off something. And we're just going to add it to our little mitten for some decoration. Y'all, if you hear any noises, I'm sorry. I can't help it. You know, and um, I, I just cannot be in the van right now. I'm not feeling well, so I don't want to be out in the cold. So we're just going to hot glue that on. And the bows you can get, you see right there, you get a pack of them at Dollar Tree. So this is really easy. I think it comes out really cute. And like I said, you could even put like um, any decoration you want. You could even add names to them. But I'm using these natural snowflakes. They came off of Timu. Whatever I can link below, I will. So I'll make sure to, well, hopefully these are not sold out. And I'm sure if you can't put them on Timu, I'll look on Amazon too. So it took me a minute to figure out how many snowflakes I wanted, where I wanted to place them. I'm indecisive. <laughs> so you might see that here in a minute. I'm just like, I don't want to overdo it, but I don't want to underdo it. You know, you got to find that happy medium. There we go. We're just going to add our bow. Oh, yeah, I do trim it down a little bit. It was just too long for me. So I just squished the tail together, see how I'm pushing it together and then cutting upwards there we go is that called dovetails I think it's called dovetails I can't remember I'm not a bow professional so I don't know y'all we're just gonna add that on there now y'all in the end I had to build me I built me like a Christmas bush so I could display these because I didn't want to Spend the money to buy a little tree. And I don't have a big one yet. <clears throat> Our big one broke last year. So I've been using pieces off that to make other DIYs. So I created me a little cute little Christmas bush. See, I'm really in debate on where I want them to set. We're going to add one on the bow. And I think that's all I add. I think that's it. But it's a super cute, you know, ornament idea, super easy ornament idea and cheap. So now we're going to add these berries that came off that tree garland. I've showed that in previous videos. We're going to add a couple here and there for a little extra color and decoration. I like working with those when they're not on that metal wire <laughs> these are so much easier to work with like this for me at least i think it's called tree garland so we're just adding them here and there and now we're going to add a little bit of white chalk paint as like a flocking 
to make it stand out more. At least I feel like it stands out more. It pops a little bit better. So we're adding it to the greenery. We're going to add to the berries, the pine cones. Some really pretty little Christmas snow here and there. Now, like I said, I have four ornament ideas. I hope you love them all. Uh, maybe you can drop me a comment. Let me know which one was your favorite. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you consider. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. The like button because that really helps my channel. It gets to where like YouTube will actually push my videos out and advertise them. So that more people can come see me. Look at that. I love it. Here's number two. So this church, I think that came from Dollar Tree. I can't remember. I've had it for a couple of years. I don't know if that was Dollar Tree or Walmart. But y'all, it's caked in glitter. So we're going to fix it up. The only glitter that's going to be left is on the inside, which obviously that's a little too hard to get to. And it really doesn't bother me because I feel like when it's on the tree, it'll kind of give it a little bit of shimmer. So we're taking white chalk paint and we're going over our church. And then it actually will have a nice pretty texture too when you paint over the glitter. So there we go. Now we're going to take some moss chalk paint. And we're going to do the roof and then the very bottom of our church. I feel like all of these are super easy. I hope it inspires y'all to create your own Christmas ornaments this year if you don't. I just feel like there's more meaning to them. Don't get me wrong, I do buy Christmas ornaments from the store. But I really, really enjoy making my own too. See, here we go. We're just going over the roof. If you guys know where these churches came from, can you please drop me a comment? Because like I said, it's been a couple years and I'm not sure if it was Dollar Tree or Walmart. It was one of them. See, we're just doing the base, the very bottom. And here's our angel. These come from Dollar Tree. You get a pack of them. And what I'm doing is cutting the back of it a little bit. Because it's rounded and I wanted to flatten that piece a little bit. So it sat on the church better. You'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm just trying to flatten that out a little bit more. Because we're going to hot glue her right in front of the door. See how cute that is? It don't look as cheap. See, there we go. Adding hot glue. And now she'll sit more flat against the door. And then we're going to add one of those natural snowflakes to the top. Where that hole is. I didn't want to overdo it on this one. I wanted to keep this a little bit more simple. I feel like that's okay sometimes. And for church, you know, I don't know. I just felt like it was more appropriate just to keep it a little more simple, more clean. I think these came out so cute. And I just added a twine hanger. And now what we're going to do is add some puffy paint for snow on the roof. We got some Christmas snow. I think I do the bottom too, but I can't remember. See how easy this is, y'all? Like anybody can do this. Okay, maybe I just did the roof. Okay, yeah. Here's number three. 
I got a bunch of these from a yard sale. They're glad like for um candles. And we're gonna use one today. So we're gonna take this ribbon and we're gonna wrap it around our candle holder. I thought this would be such a unique idea. Something different. Hopefully you guys agree that and you like it. We're gonna have Santa shining through the bottom. Okay, this is a printable. I've had all these printables for years, guys. I'm like, I've got to use some. <laughs> Little bit ridiculous. So we're going to cut that out. And we're going to glue him to the back of the candle holder. And you're going to see him peeking through on in the glass and on the tree. Isn't that neat? So we're taking these Elmer's, and it's the clear one this time. I was a little worried about using the purple, so I went with my clear one just in case, and it worked very well. So I put that on, and then I'll add Mod Podge to really secure it. But it worked just fine. You couldn't even tell there was glue there, and it held nicely. So we just had our Halloween yesterday. Have you guys already done that? Y'all, our family hasn't been able to do trick-or-treat since 2017. Most of you know our boys are autistic, and it just hasn't been able to happen because they haven't wanted to or we've had fits or something happening. And yesterday we finally got to do it as a family, and it was really nice. Our boys had a really good time. They did well. So... Yep, it was really nice. They got tons of candy. And then our bar down the street was giving adults um, free jello shots. That was really cool. I had a caramel. It was a chocolate caramel. It was really good. But yeah, we had a lot of fun. It was a day we definitely needed. So now we're going to add some Spanish moss to the inside. Now, this was another one I was like, I don't know what to add or how much to add. So I didn't go overboard because I didn't want to cover up Santa at all. I wanted to be able to see him really well. So we're just going to hot glue some Mod Podge in there. Or, hot, Lord, Mod Podge. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm not feeling good. We're going to hot glue. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Hold on. We are going to. Hot glue, moss around the bottom on the inside. There we go. <laughs> Finally got it out correctly. Because I wanted this to be a little bit more rustic. I don't know why, but this year I'm really enjoying like a rustic Christmas look. So there we go. And then we're going to add this tiny little tree. And what I do is I kind of bend it a little bit. So it kind of swoops around the little candle holder. You'll see what I mean. So we're just going to slightly bend it. And then hot glue it in. Yes, I do trim the back off. So it lays more flat. And you cannot tell once it's in there. That I did that. See, I'm kind of curving it a little bit. So it goes with the glass. Today was not a good day for words, was it, y'all? I can't talk. And I made this tiny, tiny little bow. And we're going to add that in there. And that's it. I think I sat there for 30 minutes wondering, should I add more in there? I'm like, no. Nope. So I'm going to add a little bit of Christmas snow to the moss and to the tree. To make it stand out more. Ho, 
Hopefully you guys like this idea. It's definitely different. Are you guys ready for Christmas? It's almost here, y'all. It's coming up fast. Here's our tiny, tiny little bow. And then, like, when it's sitting on the tree, um, Santa will kind of glow in the back. So it's really neat when you have the lights on it. So now we're just going to wrap this ribbon and glue it. That's it. And then add some twine for that more rustic Christmas look. Y'all, that's my favorite ribbon, the black and white. I do like the red one too, but this one's my favorite. And I got, luckily, I got a bunch on clearance. I think it was last year after Christmas, so I'm definitely stocked up. And I'm very happy about that because I use it a lot. Oh yeah, I forgot. I do add white around this edge right here. Because it was just like too dark and grim looking, you know? So I had to brighten it up a little bit. So I just add white around that ribbon edge. And as you can see, this one wasn't hard. It, it wasn't hard either. I can't talk. I'm done. I quit. I just quit. <laughs> it was not hard either. Gosh, when you're sick, your mind is just like scrambled eggs, you know? At least mine is. So I'm going to take the twine and I'm just going to wrap it a couple times. Oh, my scrambled egg brain. And then I had it, I just set it to where it would hang right. So I kind of moved it over a little bit. Because I wanted to make sure when it was hanging, you know, Santa wasn't all crooked. See, I'm trying to see where it's at. And then I moved that over a little bit. Just to make sure it's lined up right. And then that's going to be our hanger. We're going to hot glue that. Keep it in place. And then just tie a knot. And then this ornament is complete, I think. <laughs> oh, y'all. Now y'all can see why I'm, I named my channel Hot Mess Crafting, can't you? And we're going to burn off the frizzies. Clean it up a little bit. You just got to be careful because if you get that ribbon too much, it will melt. So you got to be quick. Quick, quick, quick. And there we go. I show you guys these in the end too, like a little final review, so don't worry. So this is an ornament. I got a bunch of these, again, on clearance a couple years ago. Um, I think they came from Michael's. And I got them for like, I don't know, like a dollar a pack. It was crazy cheap. So I'm going to mark where I want to use my hot knife and cut it out. Now you can use a box cutter with these or a little bit thicker plastic. And it will take a lot longer. And it's a little bit harder. But it is possible. So I'm not saying you need a hot knife, but it will make your life easier. I got my hot knife on Amazon. I've used it in prior videos, but I will link it again. It's a little bit expensive, I'm not going to lie, but it's worth it because it gets a lot of use. So I'm just going to cut down that line that I did. See, it's starting to smoke. I don't like to use this on video too long because I really got to pay attention to what I'm doing because I'm not trying to burn myself or cut my fingers off. So I don't like to, yeah, see, it's real quick. 
And now what I'm doing is I really wanted to rough that edge up. Because like I said, I'm really into like the rustic Christmas. I didn't want it smooth. I really wanted it roughed up. So I'm melting it here and there. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take my finger sander and sand the entire thing because plastic paint, you know, it don't stick too well. So if you sand it first, it'll really help it stick better. So here we go. We're sanding it. And now we're going to take rust -Oleum white chalk paint and paint the entire thing. And then we're going to use more clearance finds, some Christmas picks, and they're going to be hanging out. These are really pretty. They got, it's almost like sugar has been dusted on them. They're really pretty. It's obviously glitter, but it, it just reminds me of like a glittery sh sugar. It's so pretty. So I cut, took off the bows. I'm not using those. Cut them off. All little pieces off and we're going to do put them in individually we're going right up into where that top piece is and they're going to be flowing out so this is my final ornament idea i really hope you guys love these i really do i hope you consider subscribing and sticking around I am so sorry that I have scrambled egg brains right now, but it is what it is. See, we got it all filled up, and now we're going to add those berries in. We're going to do the white one in the middle, and then the red ones on each side. And then we're going to add our, we're going to glue on our topper back on, and then add twine and a bow and that's it and that's so easy i mean you can add anything in this you want hanging out you know what i mean i have jingle bells like hanging down or with moss or i don't know christmas angels i don't know anything you want just use your imagination see how we added some color I felt like it definitely needed some pops of red in there. So we got the, the top glued back on. And now we're just going to add our twine. And we're covering that entire thing except for the loop where the, you know, we need to put our hanger. So we're covering all that up. I should have brought me some drink. I feel like my voice is going out. See, there we go. It's all covered. We're going to burn off all those frizzies, fuzzies, whatever you want to call them. And the other piece of twine is we're going to add it to that loop for a hanger. And then I think the last thing we do is add our bow. I hope you guys don't mind that these were a little bit more simple today. I mean, I can do a little bit more challenging ones if you guys want. You have to let me know in comments what you're wanting to see. Give me some ideas. Now this, we are going to wrap around the bottom of the twine and then add our bow. I forgot I did this. So we make like a finger bow. I think that's what they call them. You know, kind of like when you're tying your shoe or shoelace bow. Is that what it's called? Maybe it's called shoelace bow. Like when you're tying your shoes. I wish I had more of this. I don't see the like the little tiny, I think it's gingham, what they call it. 
I need to get more of that. I like the tiny, because all I got is the wide stuff, and I love this tiny one for a little project. So I got to definitely find some of that. See how it's super easy, just like you're tying your shoes. So maybe it is a shoelace bow. Like I said, I'm not a professional bow maker. I just do the best I can. There are tons of tutorials on YouTube to teach you, though. Now, on this one, I just cut my ends at an angle. We're just going to add it on there. I feel like that really, like, completed the piece because that hole was just not looking right. You know what I mean? Like, at the top. For me, it wasn't looking right. But if you recreate this, like I said, do whatever you wish. And here is the first one reveal. And there's the, the little Christmas bush I made. I added it into one of my little metal pots I had. Added a bow and a bell. We got some um, bead garland on there. I could only find my red lights. I wish I had my white ones. I couldn't find my clear ones. Here's the church. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Thank you for being patient with me. I'm sorry about my scrambled brain. It is what it is, you know, when you're not feeling well. But hopefully you guys still enjoyed the video and the DIYs. Thank you so much for all the support and being here. And I hope you guys have a great Halloween, a great Sunday, and a great week. Bye, y'all.